On today's episode, we're going to be doing things a little bit differently. This is the start of my new series called The Gear Journey Vlogs. Basically, it's going to just allow me more freedom to kind of talk about things I want to talk about, what new gear I have coming in, my collection, and just something to have fun with. I'm still going to be doing my weekly informative videos like John Mayer's Delay History, stuff like that. But in addition, I'm going to be doing fun different vlogs and stuff like this. So to start the video off, I thought I'd talk a little bit about my latest acquisition, which is this guy right here. I actually literally just got it. This is the Universal Audio Aux Amp Top Box, and I'm sure you guys know all about it. Basically, this is gonna be part of the foundation for my recording setup so that, you know, all of you guys who want the tones from my 2019 John Mayer pedal board, I'm gonna be able to give you guys that using this. Basically, you just need the two rock left to come in my traditional clean, and then with this into my computer, We'll be getting some sweet tones. I thought it'd be fun too to do a little bit of an unboxing, kind of um, talk a little bit more about the aux, but I wanted to actually go back to last Friday and quickly chat about my latest pedal acquisition. So let's go and talk about that first before we get into the aux. So if you guys follow me on my Instagram at Justin Guitarist, you'll know that I am a massive, way huge fan. And next pedal that I got to add to my collection on Friday is a vintage Way Huge pedal. All right, as you guys can see here from the box, this is a vintage Way Huge pedal made by George Tripps himself, hand built in the 1990s. And I think these boxes that he used for Way Huge back in the day, the original run, are some of the coolest boxes you can get on a pedal um, ever. Even the new ones with all the comics on them are super cool and just, they really like go back to the old school ways that he was doing it with the cartoon aspect on the box. So let's get pretty much into the unboxing. It says 81 in the top here. I don't know why that's on there. Um, it's not the serial number of the pedal. Uh, as you can see, there's just more cartoons and graphics on the box itself. You got all sorts of things. And I think what's really cool is on the back, it has the nutrition facts like you'd see on something like a food label or um, a drink label, but that's all the information, kind of like the manual for the pedal. Just really cheeky and really cool, I think. But yeah, let's get into the unboxing of this pedal. It's got some foam around it to protect it. Oh, here it comes. Alrighty. Setting that side away. So, this is a way huge saffron squeeze compressor known as the SQ 1, made by George Strips in the 90s. Has this gorgeous gold anodized finish on it. And in case you don't know how to tell a vintage way huge pedal from the modern day Dunlop reissues, here's a few things that I'll quickly show you. Um, they'll all have the green LED light, which the modern ones don't have. The switches will have a black kind of tip on the end of them that's unique to the modern, or sorry, the vintage Way Huge pedals. Some of the vintage ones, um, the switches have broken, they've been replaced with modern ones, so you can get a vintage one with a more modern switch, but a mint one or an original one should have this on it. As well, you'll see here, it has these four screws in the back instead of the battery cover, like the V2, the Mark II, the first reissues had. And then just kind of the back as well, the, the jacks and the battery um, input jack there as well. It's a little bit different than what you'd get on a modern way huge pedal. But yeah, this thing's really cool. I got it all the way from New Zealand and it's pretty mint condition. You got even the rubber feet are still attached on the bottom. And it's a beautiful gold anodized finished as well. It looks, I think, just just phenomenal. I'm really stoked to add this one to my collection. There were only 261 of these ever produced, and this is number 243. So it's quite near the end of the run, actually, for um, the Saffron Squeeze, but really cool, great condition, and I'm looking forward to testing this thing out eventually and showing you guys some clips with it through the Aux and the Turok. So let's go now and talk about the Universal Audio Aux a little bit more, do an unboxing of that, and I'll give you some thoughts and what I'm thinking of in terms of my recording setup. So let's get into unboxing the Aux now. With this, I'm super excited for. Manuals and stuff in here. Excellent. Take it, this is probably all the the power cables and stuff like that in here. A 
A few moments later. One eternity later. All right, and there we have it. The ox. Alrighty, so this guy here, like I mentioned, I'm super excited about. The attenuation is something that I've been looking forward to using for a long time. I got a vintage uh, Marshall JMP from 1977 that is loud as all heck, but this is going to allow me to run it and experiment with using it at, you know, that crank tone but at usable volumes and not give me a ton of hearing loss. If you guys do know how to attenuate an amp with two speaker jacks, like my Bonamassa 59 Twin, like literally each speaker has its own speaker cable and input jack. So I'm not sure how to attenuate it with this, but probably end up calling the Fender Custom Shop. But yeah, I'm super stoked for the attenuation. And from everything I've heard, the recording and the tones, you know, the cabin mic simulation you get out of this, you know, the Universal Audio software is next level stuff. And my friend, the London guitarist, is using this through his two rock John Mayer SIG and posting some clips and it sounds absolutely incredible. So I'm really looking forward again, like I've said, to getting you guys tones with my Replica 2019 pedal board through my two rock. And yeah, that's gonna wrap up this kind of short video talking about um, two of my latest acquisitions. Going forward, this vlog series, I'm gonna be talking about bits of my collection and like I've mentioned before, stuff I'm just generally passionate about and having having more fun with it, more freedom, and more of a rel relaxed setting instead of just giving you guys straightforward information and getting right to the point. This is gonna be something fun. So you guys, please give this video a thumbs up um, if you've liked the content I've been giving you so far in support of this new series. Please comment down below any suggestions, anything you want to see with this series, like collection, like parts of my collection or my thoughts on certain things. Please comment below and let me know and I'll be sure to um, try and make that happen. And thanks again, you guys, so much for all the support and love you've given my channel. It's amazing. Follow me on Instagram at Justin Guitarist. You can message me on there and we can chat if you have any questions or comments or anything like that. And until the next episode, guys, thanks for watching.